Hey there, I, uh, I have something kind of exciting to share. I didn't expect to be sharing it this soon. Uh, this week's gonna be kind of crazy. You're gonna get two videos from me, which is phenomenal and exciting. And then there are more to come. I'm gonna tell you all about that. I'm also gonna say, hey, hang on, the guide is live. The guide is live. Uh, it's ready to go. It's fully redesigned. It looks beautiful. It's, I like hired other people who are talented in design and layout and everything to actually work on this. But oh, hang on a second because there'll be a discount code towards somewhere near the end of this video for you for being such a wonderful, loyal subscriber all these years. You're a subscriber, aren't you? And I just kind of want to uh, explain what's going on in this guide. I'm, I like, it's, it's, it's my guide to Paris. There's been a lot of work going on behind the scenes. Uh, but speaking of guides, and of course, obviously, I'm gonna want some more coffee. Let's talk about it on our way to get some coffee. And first things first, we gotta get this nugget, sleepy nugget out of his, uh, out of his kettle. Would a sleepy nugget like to come out of his sleepy nugget hole? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, oh, buddy. Are you really going back to sleep? Dude, you've been in there forever. Are you chewing on this guy? There's a stretch. Ugh. We'll collect our things and then we'll go. His, uh, the strap for this bag that I've been carrying around, uh, you know, the clip should work like this. Obvious, right? Well, part of it broke off. I don't know if it's because he's a chubby one or what, but it might just be poor construction, who knows. I need to buy some zip ties. I'm gonna see if I can't reinforce it, get this thing going again, because these straps, handy, not good for the shoulder though. Clickety, clickety. Ready? Let's go. So when I'm referring to a guide, I'm talking about a digital PDF that I've been working on for a really long time. Like it's been uh, a lot of knowledge put in over the course of like five years of my life. Originally, years ago, when I first made the first draft of this guide, it was because I was trying to condense all the re recommendations I had. People asked all the time where they should stay, what they should do, what they should eat. And I figured, well, I need to come up with a, you know, concise way of putting that together for you. I think we're back in business, just a little bit off balance until you get him uh, leaning against the body, right? But I'll add a few more zip ties to the other one in case it snaps as well. Shoddy craftsmanship, what's going on in the world? But you know, it's not shoddy craftsmanship. The new guide, I actually hired some people to redo like the whole thing, it looks great. Now, one of the things that might be concerning to some of you who have already purchased the guide is you feel like you might've missed out. If you bought it in the last year, the bulk of the information is gonna be the same. There's some small updates, closures, you know, places that have closed because of the pandemic, that kind of stuff, as well as some, you know, additions and removals for other reasons along the way. So there's a few updates, a few tweaks, some catches in editing, always sound problems when you're trying to film outside scooters. So if you got the 2021 guide, you're not missing out on too much. The vast majority of the investment has been in the redesign and also the rebrand for parasitinmypocket.com and all the videos we're gonna be doing in that series that we've already been working on. You can definitely still walk for a little bit though, buddy. Oh. But man, it's so much nicer to have this bag over my shoulder than in my hands. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Oh man, this is so much better. I'm like hands free all of a sudden. Should have got these zip ties years ago. It's 156 pages long. It's basically a book. There's tons of practical information on it, like, you know, how to get around town. Even notes on how to get out of Charles de Gaulle which is often worse than it sounds. It's terrible. It's absolutely full of tips and my thoughts on things like places that you should stay and why, and maybe places not to stay. It has over 240 recommendations for places that I really enjoy. They're not gonna be the best places because what could they be? I mean, who can claim to know what the best of anything is necessarily? There are people that do, but they're places that I like. And if you like me, there's a good chance you'll like them too. Like for beer. Journalist Sophie Buchan, or Buchan, Buchan? I never asked her how to pronounce her last name. Recently called it a gold mine. Let that sink in. What's also pretty exciting is that the new video series, the Paris in My Pocket video series. First one is gonna be uh, my favorite coffee roasters, or the top coffee roasters in Paris. Among whom these guys are numbered. And uh, I'm not gonna tell you who they are, just, you know, spoiler. I already spoiled that the first one's gonna be about coffee. I won't spoil who these guys are though. 
you have to wait for that video. But I will say right off the bat that uh, I'm currently very obsessed with their cookies. Like genuinely, can't get enough, which makes the whole diet thing kind of hard. Hey. <laughs> it's sweaty, huh? Of course, I just noticed that the puppy has uh, thoroughly snotted my shirt, so that's really great. I'm gonna take a moment with this snotty t-shirt to thank my patron producer of the day, Anna Tinsman. Thanks for, uh, she's been one of the longest standing patrons on my channel. She is phenomenal. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, initially, actually, I randomly select my patron producer every video, and uh, it initially landed on my sister, uh, Karin, and it just felt like nepotism. I think she's been the patron producer once already this year anyway, so Anna, you were just above her. It goes to you. I still love you, Karin. Don't worry, I'll see you soon. Discount code. I promise you a discount code. Just also while we're talking about patrons, my patrons do get a significantly uh, deeper discount code. If you are a patron, don't forget that. Please go over and use that because thank you. Uh, it's because of your support, especially through the craziness of the pandemic and uh, all the transitions that I've been going through uh, in life and in business and everything that I was able to afford to invest uh, so much work into making the guide so much better, the new website. Uh, I've, there's been a lot of work. I've been doing a lot behind the scenes. I built like nine websites last month a lot of old websites that needed to get migrated. It's a long story, but it was because of my patrons that it was even possible. So thank you guys so much for being there for me forever. I love you. I appreciate you. Uh, I'm glad that you're here. And also that love thing is very platonic love, just, just to be clear. <laughs> the, uh, subscribe to Vibe. That's the discount code. It's gonna get you 15% off. Give it a try. Uh, see how the guide works. Now, if you've already purchased the main guide, but you want like some more wine options or you want some more coffee options, or maybe you're interested in running routes, I have a 15 for five series, which is 15 recommendations for five euros. So some of those overlap with the main guide. Some of them do not. Some of them will end up in videos. Some of them will only ever appear in a 15 for five. The coffee one is the only one that's not available yet, but it will be available very soon. And when it is available, we will launch the coffee video alongside of it. But the code works for those two. So if you wanna grab uh, some wine recommendations that was written largely, mostly by Jess, uh, if you wanna grab some running routes, I put those together to try and give you an idea of how to run through the city safely and uh, avoiding as many stoplights as possible. They're all there waiting for you. Uh, and of course, uh, hopefully everything works smoothly. I've been asking everybody who's purchased off the kind of Patreon soft launch and everything else, just making sure that it's, it's working well and seems to be working great so far. So hopefully confident in releasing it to the world. Now, I'm really excited. I, we've been putting a lot of work into the whole press in my pocket side of things. I just have this passion for helping people get off on the right foot when they come to Paris. I love this city and I want other people to love it the same way that I do. And I recognize that uh, I might not be the right guide for everybody, but uh, if you watch my YouTube channel and if you enjoy, you know, good food, good drinks and time with friends, there's a good chance you're gonna enjoy a lot of the places that I would send you. Uh, the Ritz is not on them, so that, that they, you know, we're not in that category. But the whole driving ethos of the coming series and all the work that I wanna do, basically over the course of the next year, is to help fill an information gap so that people who come to Paris really feel like they're equipped to just have the best time possible. A lot of it's gonna seem very basic to those of you that have been here many times before. But even then, I think there's gonna be a lot of stuff that comes through that's helpful. And if nothing else, you get a lot of really great ideas where to have coffee, where to drink, even some neighborhood guides. Maybe you've never heard of the neighborhoods that I'm gonna do before, uh, but they might interest you as a place that you would go check out on your third, fourth, or 20th trip to Paris. You can tell my energy levels are coming back up. It's been a lot of work, months and months of work behind the scenes. I'm so excited to finally get it out. I'm dying to get it out. There be some small changes along the way. I'm sure we'll run into some technical problems or something here and there, but I'm just, we're just gonna roll with it and I, I can't wait. I hope that this equips you to have the best time possible in the city of light. I love this city and I just wanna make sure that you have the best time possible as well. That you don't walk away thinking, oh my gosh, the metro system is so hard to use and the French are rude and everything's stinky. Some of those things are gonna be partially true depending on your perspective no matter what. But I think all of those things get a little bit better with just a little bit more information and uh, yeah, tips and tricks along the way. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna be putting a lot of work into it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm getting some help finally. I'm not doing everything completely on my own. Um, and yeah, if you wanna support the, the future growth of all this, there's some really cool big stuff that's gonna be coming down the pipeline, um, then Patreon. My patrons really are the ones that have uh, made this all possible. They know that, they've been here forever. A lot of them have been around for years and years and I'm so grateful for them. But I'm just grateful to all of you for watching and even if you don't wanna become a patron, 
hopefully the guide is really useful to you. And if you can't afford the guide or to be a patron, don't worry, the videos are free. A lot of the information is gonna be in the videos. You're always gonna be able to get some tips and tricks from me. No, no money needed. You don't, that, that, that's not the point. At the same time, like it's really, really important to me. I lost this. Okay, one last thought. I really lost, part of the reason that I was uh, losing some interest and some motivation in making some of the videos that I was making was because I'm not personally super interested in like tourism as an industry, but I'm super, I'm super involved. I don't know, I, I really care about people loving the city and having a great time. So I'm always gonna offer all the information over time via the videos. And if you wanna watch a few hundred videos to get all that information, a lot of it's already available in my vlog as it was, but we're gonna be revisiting some, we're gonna be doing some new stuff. And I just wanna make sure that, I, don't, I just don't wanna hear that people don't like Paris in the future. Uh, for, for, I mean, if you don't like it, you don't like it, but for reasons that could have been avoided if you just knew where to go to get a good, you know, whatever it is you're looking for, or to have a good experience with people that were nice and wanted to see you and were grateful to have tourists around. So that's it. I'm not here to be a tourism guru or to have all the answers, but I wanna offer enough just to make sure that you have a grand old time when you're here. That's basically it. Hope you're having a wonderful day, wherever it is you are. There's another video coming in a few days, two vlogs out of order. I film these and release them in opposite order, but it's gonna be a fun one. 25 tips in eight minutes. When I originally filmed it, I thought it was gonna be 25 tips in 12 minutes. I'm way too fast for that, turns out. So, yeah, hope you enjoy it. See you in a few days, I guess.